This video is for a very special little girl whose daddy told me she wanted to, or was wondering, how these crosses are made. So, Emma, this is for you. First of all, start with these railroad spikes. They're very old. Your daddy can tell you how he got them. Um, some are new and they look like this. And some are very old and obviously have been used and they look like this. So the first thing that I do is I cut off the heads and the point and I cut these spaces in there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I cut these slots, one long one going this way and one short one going this way. This becomes the arms and this is the base. Um, but I'll show you as we go along, so watch carefully. Anyway, I'll show you a little bit of how I do things. This is how I cut off, cut the spikes. That was fast, huh? And then the next thing that I do, obviously, is, or, or like I said, was is I cut these slots. But let me show you, uh, let me show you how I do that. Or after I'm done cutting the uh, slots, uh, what we do next. So I'm gonna carry this camera around with me. next thing that we need to do is, is we need to heat up the metal and metal gets very soft when you heat it up but you have to heat it up so it's very very hot and so because it's very hot I'm gonna wear gloves and I'm gonna use these tongs to hold this because otherwise I would burn my hands so this is a <clears throat> special machine that heats up the metal very, very fast. So I'm going to show you that so you can see that as well. So I hold it in the tongs. Can you see that? And then I put it inside this coil and I turn the machine on. See it turning red? It gets very hot very fast. And I have to heat it up so that I can bend it. Do you see how hot that gets? Uh, first it turns red, and then as it turns orange, that means it's hotter, and when it's white, it's very, very hot. So I'm going to heat this up. And then I'll show you how I bend the arms first. So hopefully, I don't drop the camera. I'm gonna get this a little extra hot for you. There you go. Now, let me show you how I bend it. See, it's still hot. I have to take it over here to a very special place where I can bend it. So, this is a very special tool that will help me. I put this in here like this, and oh, I don't think you can see that, so let me turn this around. And you see how this is turning color already? I'm already starting to lose my heat a little bit. But I want you to be able to see how I do this. So let me just change this a little bit. And I'm going to heat this up and I'll be right back real fast.
Okay, so it's all heated up again. Can you see the slot right there? And then I take my hammer, I line this up right in the slot, and then, can you see it splitting? See how that metal split there? Can you see that? Okay. And then, what I need to do is, is I need to split it some more. So, let me get it a little more hot. I'll be right back. Okay, we got it all nice and hot. Now, let's see if I can show you how I get it bent on the anvil. So this is the anvil. I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Probably need to go get a little more heat. And maybe I should turn this around for you. That's better. You'll be able to see a little bit better, huh? Okay, let me get a little more heat. Okay, so I got the heat. Now I need my hammer, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bend this. So, can you see that? Can you see how it's bending? And then I just flatten it a little bit more. And that's the first one. So, what I need to do is, I need to go get just a little bit more heat. And I'm going to switch my tongs a little bit here. I'm going to use these, because these are better for me. Okay, hope you can see that again. So here we go. Put it on the edge again. And as you can see, it bends. Then you put it on the animal. And you get a little bit more. Turn it. Can you see how it's turning? And there you can kind of see, I'm hoping you can see, how it's made. Pretty good, huh? Okay, now, what I normally do is, is I'll make it all straight and everything, <clears throat> and then what I do is, is I'll cut, I'll cut the top over here so that <clears throat> it looks more like a cross, and then clean it up and um, of course, there's one other part, which is stamping in my favorite verse, Bible verse, so let me put this away.
and after I clean it up, it's all nice. Um, this is what it looks like. But what I do is, is I add my favorite Bible verse down here, John 3.16. So let's heat this up and I'll show you how I stamp that. Hold on. Let me get this just right so I can show you. have a very special stamp. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's the John 316 stamp. So let me heat this up and I will be right back. So you can see it's hot again. I have to put a magnet over here so I can hold it so it doesn't fall off. But I put it right there, like that. And we get our John 316 stamp. And I put the John 316 stamp somewhere right around there. And we whack it. And what happens is, not sure if you can see that too good, so let me show that to you a little bit better. That's how you get the John 316 stamp on there. Of course, when you polish it, it'll look much nicer. But that's how I put these together. Now, you remember what everything that we did? Let's see if you remember. Okay, so the first thing that we did was we started out with the railroad spike, remember? And then the next thing that we did was we cut the ends off. And then the next thing that we did was we cut some slots in it, one long, one short one, and a long one. Then we heated it up, and remember, we split the short one first, and then we split the long one, then we started to make it look like a cross, and then we cut the top off, and then in the end, we ended up with the cross. And favorite my favorite Bible verse obviously is um, John 3.16. I'm sure I'm not sure if you can quite make that out. Um, but I'm also sure that you've heard the song Jesus Loves the Little Children. Um, Jesus loves the little children. Um, and just for you, um, for this special little girl, just so that you know, always remember um, that uh, Jesus always loves you, Emma. So there it is. Hope you liked your video. Um, take care. Bye now.